Ach, hello there. Give the demonstration of my new invention. Put the dust in between. Smash your fingers while you're doing it. Get started. Okay, you got it. We have a R3 square drive pin. It has to be R3. And he wants to go like. Wait, let me see this one. Whoop! I can't do a rear image. This has an eighth inch stop to gap the bars, and the roll pin has a stop. And then this gives you place to rest the heel of the rafter. Got to stop good before you close it. Take six of you to do it all. Placing the bars together. Drawings? Yeah. What does page six look like? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I do. It's just not quite what I was thinking of. <laughs> you gotta push this clip all the way to the outside or you will not be able to get the leg screw in. Quit laughing, bastard. <laughs> and do this fast, we have no budget. Remember to keep it loose, I kind of locked it down too tight. <clears throat> so, if I did it right, you'd be able to move this around. But you get the idea. You're located right, and you can adjust for horizontal when you need to. The screws you guys have to put in are much bigger, so. We talked before, this bar should go inside the crossbar. You don't have to center it, but you want it to be kind of an assembly. And then that way, you can put it in the hole for the rafter. Easy. And then catch the notch on it. Those are my ribs twice. So with that, that fits good. It's bolting this plate so it can't fall back out. Just get it caught. You come to this one. Put it together, and then put the screws in again. Yes, I know you'll complain about that, I'm sorry. Did the best I could. All right, with this loose, this pushed all the way over, you can just get it back on there. Then when you do this, the support can't come off. So if you need to swap one out because you need a taller support, you're gonna wanna pull it up and slide the serrations over and you can just wiggle it off. Because you don't wanna do these tech screws until you're ready to lock it down this way. Bring the frame to the clip. 
you're going to need this plate and there. You know, while you hold the frame with your other hand, and then fish the bolt through. This is where it all kinds of falls apart on the desk. It's harder than I thought it would be. But once that's caught, you can't go up and down anymore until you loosen it back up. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. It's adjustable that way and that way, and then the serrated teeth for up, down, and this for left, right. Those are the adjustments, so going through it again. It pivots here and here, which lets you accommodate whatever pitch the beam is at for the skylight. And you can go this way for tolerance and clip location and up and down and sideways on the serrations for left and right tolerance. Make a little piece of the Hot Wheels track and on one side just cut it down a sixteenth and you can pop it in as a ridge splice. Other than that, the orange track should be continuous from apex down to the curb. <clears throat> Once it's all set, then you have to drill the tech screws through here, and that's going to lock everything down tight. <clears throat> all right, the idea is you've got the curves in the frame, and to keep the frame coated all the same, we made them all alike. So the one side will be left alone, and the other you make a mark. So you put a mark here, and you take your level and catch the corner, let's do it this way, in the lip if the swivel clip didn't hit it. And then you hit the mark here, and when you adjust the clips up and down, and the level says level, you should be in the right spot. <clears throat> you also have to check the height from the top of the glazing strip down to the corner of the wood. That's also the height that will help you get close. This is the plastic track, comes in a 47 foot roll. If you just push it into the screw, it'll get caught. You gotta kind of hook it underneath. And it goes, you want to get it under the crossbar, under the next screw, you push it in, and it'll snap in place. These are the splice screws, and you can see it's got a square drive, and you want an R-3 bit to drive them. Other bits strip it out. 